Okay, well, my name's Rhiannon Faith, and this is Rory um, from Harlow Playhouse. And we created a play commissioned by Harlow Playhouse called I Talk to the Clouds and They Cry With Me. And it's based on this massive cloud structure. Um, and really it looks at um, how we start to talk about and have conversations around mental health as it's Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, the show is quite poignant. It looks at issues of depression and suicide and how we can find hope as communities to try and transform um, the way we feel about people that maybe do commit suicide and how we can value and love people within our community. So that's really what the show is about. It's a dance theatre and it is um, quite an exciting um, visual spectacle um, but also is quite um, sad and poignant um, but at the end offers yeah, some kind of comfort and hope. So why have you gone for the clouds or the theme about clouds? Um, well, it's the idea that, you know, sometimes when clouds are above you and they feel quite grey, you can feel quite low and sad. Um, and I just thought it was nice to, you know, think about what happens when we're, we're talking to people that we've lost in our lives. And, you know, we, we sometimes look up and talk to the clouds and talk to the sky and, you know, say, I wish you were here still. And so this is a, a conversation that's actually a friendship between the cloud and okay, um, yeah. a person called Steve, and it's about their friendship and how they navigate the experiences of depression that they've um, experienced. So after Harlow Playhouse, are you planning to take it anywhere else at all? Take it play anywhere else? Well, we've already had interest uh, for to do an outdoor uh, talk next year. Yep. Um, so we're yeah trying to think about where the best place um, will be for the show. Um, we have lights that light up in the clouds, so at night time it's actually quite beautiful and so we'll be thinking about what time of night and what kind of audience. Yesterday we had 25 young people um, that are part of Livewire that, uh, at the Playhouse and they came and their response was really sensitive and really beautiful actually and we did a post-show chat with them and I think that they're you know, a key audience, um, young people that uh, feel like they're struggling with anxiety or they feel lonely. Um, that we can talk about what loneliness is and what that feels like and they're already starting to have that conversation now because of this show. Yeah, and the, the whole show has been made accessible through, so yesterday we had a group of people that suffered with like, learning difficulties or had additional needs yeah. and when they came yesterday it was quite nice to know that actually the performance can be accessible to anyone at any time without going through the standard of having to call it a relaxed performance. Yeah. So um, what do you hope that people who see your performance will get out of it, your play? Um, I really just hope that they will um, allow themselves to go on the emotional journey of the show, allow themselves to um, be open to feel and then perhaps afterwards go and have a conversation with a loved one or you know someone in their lives that they know potentially could be going through this. Um, and we have the Cloud Hub just downstairs in the Harvey Centre that's connected to the project and there's a host of activities there, there's a therapist on hand there and it's a space really that people can go after the show to, to talk about the issues that are raised and to yeah, be held in a safe space. So is this quite typical of the work you usually produce or do you usually you know, explore this sort of thing <laughs> or is this quite new? Is this quite what new? would you say, Rory? This is quite new for you. Absolutely. So Rhiannon's also our associate artist yep. um, and we got to know Rhiannon through, we commissioned um, Rhiannon's last piece of theatre called Smack That and that uh, looks at the themes around domestic violence. Yeah. Um, I'll let you explain a bit more <laughs> about that. Uh, yeah, Smack That, a conversation that was, uh, we worked with um, some wonderful women from Harlow yep. and um, we created a show that, again, raised awareness about issues and social injustice, really, that are happening in our society that people need to, I guess, just raise their consciousness to so that they can do something about it, that they can be active in knowing that there are people um, in our community that are suffering. And I think a lot of my work does look at suffering and how we can support other humans um, because we're all kind of connected in some way. Yeah. We're, we're all here just to kind of, you know, get through life. And I think, yeah, I think my shows do that. It's art our activism I think and that's important for me that I have this privilege I have this platform I have um, funding from Arts Council and support from a, an excellent venue that are really forward-thinking about how they want to help their community so that's really what I'm 
here to do. Yeah, so it is uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. What role have you and the Playhouse had in promoting that and spreading the word about it? So it's all of our concentration has been around the Cloud Hub and I talk to the clouds and they cry with me. The Cloud Hub has been our main focus so there's been numerous activities going on up in there. So we've had, yesterday we know that Harlow engages well with our drag artist Fanny Galore. <laughs> so Fanny did a session called Feelings with Fanny which was really cool. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, really and they managed to really speak like speaking like exactly what they were feeling through a game of past the parcel which was, which was really nice um, and we sort of aligned it to working with charities like mind and um, all the money that's raised in the hub will go to mind at the end of the end of the week um, so many activities really lots of activities free massages yeah. um, sessions with therapists about how to um, Put your brain, uh, put your thoughts into back to factory settings and talk kindly to yourself. And, um, you know, if you're experiencing anxiety, how to do breathing yeah. um, to calm you down. There was some um, mask work that is happening tomorrow, how we make masks for ourselves when we're feeling like we don't want to connect with other people and what that that means for us and yeah loads of really fun activities we've got the art therapy so we're doing a mindfulness mural and oh, yeah. that's the community gets to come in and paint different sections of this mural that we've had created by some designers and that's nearly finished now yeah <laughs> and we're very close to finish that and yeah. at the end of the project we'll peel all the tape off and it's got a nice message on it and that'll be displayed somewhere in the community so that there's always that legacy of what we've done yeah. throughout this week yeah. so it kind of ties on to the next one i was going to say why do you think that mental health when mental health week and you sort of doing all of these tasks is, is important why is it important to go good question. Yeah. um so the, the the week's important like throughout the past couple of years the playoffs has been very forward in wanting to deliver stuff around mental health and encouraging people to talk and open up um one of the reasons that we selected this location is because obviously over the past few years there have been people that have unfortunately lost their lives by jumping off of the, this car park and there's obviously important to Harlow that we care for their mental health and through the show and through the hub we that, that was our idea really just to care for somebody else for a little while and try and prevent this sort of stuff from happening and talk about it and let people know it's okay to talk about it. Yeah. And arts venues they have you know funding from public funding from council funding but that gives a responsibility to that venue to really think about their community and we think about communities in terms of entertainment so there's some brilliant like touring tribute acts that come into the playhouse but actually you know supporting our community also means having a place where people can come and talk about things that are challenging in their lives and a safe place um, where people can open up since doing smack that conversation the Harlow Playhouse became a J9 venue which means that anyone that has experienced domestic abuse in their lives um, can be signposted um, by the staff who have all been trained how to um, put them in touch with service providers yeah. so there's a lot of really important and you know integral work happening at the Playhouse to continue the support for the the people that are here and I think it is a public responsibility that I'm very much um, excited that that is how Rory, as the artistic director, um, find, he thinks that that is you know, really important and it's you know, a really brilliant thing. Caring for the community and bringing, making sure that the building is accessible for all, but also as a safe space. So all of our staff are trained in gender intelligence, they're hate crime ambassadors. So we really want to, we're not just there for people to come in and watch the show, we are there as part of the community delivering services that can help ideally change people's lives through the art form. And having the young practitioners as part of yeah. that is also, they've been leading all of the activity at the Cloud Hub. And so these are, you know, the people of our future. They're, you know, really brilliant and intelligent young people that have navigated and created this whole um, platform of events that happened this week. And they're going out and talking to people about mental health, which is really, really good. So how did this project actually come about and come to the Harlow Playhouse? So following off from Smack That, that's when I asked Rhiannon if she'd like to become our associate artist and then we felt together that we needed to do something around mental health and do it for Mental Health Awareness Week um, and then sort of the ideas just come to fruition after that really. Pretty much. <laughs> you yeah. said have you got an idea for a show and I said let me have a think about it yeah. and then I was like oh I think I have an idea but I need a cloud <laughs> and that's kind of how um, this happened. <laughs>